Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole. If you're old, welcome back. Welcome to all my new subscribers, old subscribers. And today is actually not a haul video. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of hauls, makeup hauls, Dollar Tree, some TJ Maxx, you know, anything I find a sale on, I do a haul. Um, this is highly requested. Uh, oh, before I get too far, what I have on my lips, because I get requests for have on my lips uh this is lime crimes beat it which actually looks purple in these lights but right in my bathroom lights even though it looks purple in the tube like a lighter purple and then i topped it with this frankie rose cosmetics cotton shimmer lip gloss that we got in ricky's nyc cult crash crushes box like last month month before i'm not sure but anyway this highly requested video is of my eyeshadow collection uh, I mostly have palettes I do have some singles and some other things that go on eyes like glittery things uh, so those are gonna be included in here um, and I did film this once but I didn't like how it turned out so I'm refilming it <laughs> again <laughs> so to start off first I'll start off in I'm gonna lift up what I have I don't have a fancy vanity as you can see <laughs> I don't have the room for it um Hashtag brilliant, which I got at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something. It's in a haul somewhere. Um, and this sits on my dresser. So first we're going to go into, this is the Lorac Unzip Sunset. It's a very pretty palette. These are the three Lorac palettes that do not contain karma besides the Lorac Unzip Gold. I love this palette. The only thing is this color, though beautiful, needs to be applied with glitter glue and some fix plus to really make it show up it's just one of those shades but when you do that you go that extra mile is good but the rest of these shades are beautiful and apply beautiful and i love this series they could have worked on this mess though because i have feeling like a year or two down the road that's probably going to like bend off so there's that one i also have the mountains the unzip mountain sunset from lorac which you know, looks like this do you like this one it's just built for a smoky eye you can get maybe one i uh, look out of here maybe two without going smoky the rest is meant to go smoky and i i don't do smoky smoky eyes like that dark smoky all the time uh the next one is my favorite of the three one of my top palettes this is the lorac unzip desert sunset and i just love that one because those colors are just gorgeous gorgeous I don't know if these are still available. I think they might be on Lorac site, but I'm not sure. Next, I have from Tart the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Uh, I went hard on this when I first got it. I have it upside down so the mirror doesn't blind you. Uh, but a few of these shades, I need to find out which and actually mark them, have carmine in them. So I don't need to go out. Usually it's like the lighter shades of the Tarte. I don't know why. But I, I'm keeping that because I did use it for my niece's prom makeup. And so I use a few palettes. Uh, these I just got and I still have not used, but I have Smoldering Satin, Rose Gold Retro, and Kitten Karma in the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. This was a set. So, yeah, eyeshadows, they're included. Those back in there. Next, I have from Lime Crime, and I love that package. Their packaging is gorgeous, and they are vegan, so I don't have to worry about the carmine. And if you're wondering why I keep harping about carmine, you're new to this channel. I'm allergic. I am allergic, like bad pink eye, painful reaction for days after I'm exposed to it. So, uh, I love these shades. They're gorgeous. That I was able to, if I knew where that palette was exactly, like if I saw my palettes, I'll show you. Uh, hopefully later. Um, oh no, here. Found it. Another one I can show you is the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions, which I recently did a look with, which I'll link if I can find it. This is what this one looks like. If I had known, and both are free of Carmine, this is pretty much dupe for this one. Just one shade less than this. But the thing is, like, where a few of these shades blend out, look the same on your eye, this one really doesn't. <laughs> so, yeah. And, and the formula is a little different. I mean, she has one of her foil shades in here. So, there's that. And I have the Lime Crying Venus too. I bought these as a bundle. And then I had a coupon for so much off. I don't know. When I ordered from Lime Crime. Uh, that is black with purple glitter if it can be picked up. 
And that is a really pretty duo chrome shade. And that one's called Pigeon. And it looks like that. Uh, so, yeah, this is very grungy, very fall. So, <laughs> yeah, for fall. This one I was using again last week. I was like, I hadn't picked it up in about a year. I was like, I need to like start picking up palettes that I hadn't used in like a year. Uh, this is the Balm Appetit. I love the Balm's packaging. It's so quirky. It's so fun. It's so retro. Um, and it's like you can order all these guys off the menu. I know you're seeing my little setup. And it says, eat your heart out. But these are full-size pages. You just fold it down. Thing is, the top three mattes I can't use. Those are full of carmine. But the bottom shimmers are fine. So, next I have, now this one I'm on sure which shades have carmine. There are a couple or at least a few. This is the Meat Matrimony, which is a great, fantastic palette. I love this palette when I first got it. Just unsure where the Carmine's hiding, because as I said, over the time I've got back in my makeup, my Carmine allergy has gotten worse. Uh, next, this is a recent purchase. I have the Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place. Uh, I also still have the first one, because... <laughs> It's over there in the bag if they ever email me back saying they want it back because they accidentally sent me that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Like, just, 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 just gorgeous. Like, yeah, no. What did you mean to play? I have played around with this. I think I have one or two looks on IG with it. So, just wipe that off my pants. Uh, the next one is the one I have not used. I have swatched it when I said they corrected my order and it's got beautiful holographic pattern. This is the Zulu by Juvia's Place. And that's what it's, I still haven't played with it, but I did swatch it that one day. So great big pans. Great. And they were having a sale yesterday. I don't know if they still are. Um, this is recorded on a Sunday, so I don't know uh, where um, there's a code weekend 40. It's probably not going to be on when this video goes up. Um, but you always check because it's like 40% off on my nose decision and like free shipping at 35 or something. This is the Mini Masquerade by Juvius. This is my second purchase from them. Um, and I got it from like Hot Look, I think. Or it could have been from them. I'm not sure. Uh, no, it's Hot Look because I would have bought the regular Masquerade, which pans would have been like this size instead of the size i mean this is like normal eyeshadow shades shot size from like color pop and stuff this is a big one um but they didn't have it on hot look that time sorry i got like cat hair <laughs> on my nose um but i love this because you can go really bright and colorful or really neutral but they are very pigmented very very nice shades uh just like all their blues for some reason like to have a lot of fallout so just be careful of the blues that and they will like stay on your cheek uh, the next one is a recent purchase that I ordered with the Zulu and Saharan 2 is the Magic. And I have, like, loved this palette. Like, I've been into this palette. Not today, but I have been into this palette and been enjoying this palette with these big old pans. Like, the regular masquerade, the pans are, like, the size. So, maybe slightly smaller than the Zulu. Maybe about the same. But, yeah, it's pretty heavy, actually. So, look at all those shades. And they are gorgeous. And, you know, this is a black-owned brand, and uh, they make shades for, you know, that will show up on, you know, people of color skin, which I appreciate because, you know, zombie eyes. Um, this was, like, my first purchase. This was my first purchase, the Nubian 2 by Juvie's Place. Um, it was back when they, this one was fairly new, um, and it was, but it was on Hot Look. But one shade came smashed, so I still have, like, mess in there. This shade was shattered when it came because, uh, yeah, it just wasn't wrapped in this box well. But I dug in this one pretty heavy. <laughs> it's very gorgeous. Love the shades in that one. Next, I'm including these, even though they are technically blushes, because I tend to use them as eyeshadows more. Um... Oh, at least the like the shiny ones and even that one like tend to be more eyeshadows. This is the Saharan Blush Volume Two, uh, so that's what it looks like. I, you can uh, just be aware that you will have more fallout with these because they are a stiffer formula because they are meant for blushes than eyeshadows. But especially like that one. I mean, like, what are you gonna do? You can use that as eyeshadow. <laughs> so this is the Saharan Blush Volume One, and last in this little container is my gorgeous palette which I loved and took to the beach with me um this is the Satan Center by Kat Von D palette and I love this palette it's so pretty 
It's so pretty. <laughs> so, yes, mix and match. A lot of people had problems with that. They thought it was pretty. They just didn't know what to do with it. I'm like, I don't need to be told what to do with the palette. Um, and one of those I don't go and order anyway. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Don't need you telling me what to do. <laughs> um, so there's that. How did I have these stacked in here? I don't know how I have these stacked in here. They're just going to stay there. Uh, so that that was just one, one, one little bucket. I'm sorry. I'm trying to like keep them where I can get them out easier next time or something like that. Next bucket looks like this. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, first up, we have Pure, which tends to are, is vegan, as far as I know. Uh, this is the Daydream palette. It came in a set of two. Um, it's okay. The formula is okay. It's just very blah. It's very neutral. Very boring. Fine for a starter, you know. Woman just, just wants a simple simple look on their eyes which is not me <laughs> next I have the makeup revolution iconic pro one this is a dupe and has a pretty nice brush a dupe for the Lorac pro one so it's been going hard on that palette too okay maybe on pure night fantasy this was with the daydream palette and it looks like that I like this one better because it does have some colors, so that one's cool. Next, I have this Amanda Steel Times ColourPop Weekend Warrior palette thing. Um, I used Ipsy Points and got this for free. <laughs> Are you review enough? You got it for free. It was like 750 points, so basically all the points I had saved for a year. Next is my Big OZ palette that I got from Ricky's. Uh, <laughs> and this one has a collection like these two or what? That like freaking Hikari pigment doesn't want to stay. But you got like two what wild. That's an Ofra brush. Sephora. Makeup Geek. Color Pop. Color Pop. Ofra. And uh, Hikari pigment. Hikari pigment. And these are all those bronc colors uh, that were like the planets and stuff. That order from Ulta a while ago. I haven't used it. <laughs> this one is Makeup Forever Vo Artist Shadows Volume 2. I'm like afraid to use this again because I don't know where the carmine is in this palette or if it's in every shade. But I did enjoy it when I used it. But as I said, I think, like, I know my carmine allergy has just gotten worse. So, certain shades. Same with these. Like, I loved them when I had them, but it says carmine at the end, but doesn't show tell you where this is the studio makeup on the go warm up palette we got on boxycharm i love this palette and i didn't have a reaction when i used it so i don't know <laughs> but at the same time i wasn't like taking a lighter shade and set in my entire primer so i don't know uh this is the studio makeup on the go cool down palette and it looks very messy because a couple of these shades are really messy when you use them uh, so there's that. Here I got another Z palette, and it's from the Boxy Charm. But this is entirely ColourPop. It's just a mixture of ColourPop shades I specifically chose that had no carmine. So there's that. This one is a Pure palette from Pure's Vegan, and it's the Trolls palette. And I love this palette. I think you can still get this on their website. I'm not sure. I love this palette. Only thing is the teal and the purple show up a little darker than what they look in the pan. But the rest are vibrant and great and colorful. Uh, next I have from the Balm in the Balm of Your Hand Volume 2. And it has four eyeshadows, the Mary Luminizer, and four blushes. And haven't really dug into this much. 
but they are all carmine free, which made me really happy. Uh, next is like huh, one palette that broke my heart because the shades I wanted most in it or have carmine. I think the browns and stuff are okay, but the pinks have carmine. Uh, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bond Vine Bond Palette. And of course it smells like chocolate. And I paid a hefty price from HSN. I got this. I got a lipstick and a better than sex mascara, I guess. So, live and learn. Okay, this is the Pure Pro Times Etienne. Etienne's a makeup artist like the Kardashians or something. I don't know. Um, or just a famous makeup artist. This is what it looks like. Very good natural, like, neutral, but you got your darkers and you got your lighters and you got some warm and cool tones mixed up in there. I've d played around with this like once. I really need to learn about it. <laughs> and get, um, next, I'm really, really happy because I finally looked at the ingredients for this thing because of course when I buy things, I throw away the box and I didn't use it for a while. And then I discovered I had a carmine allergy and I had read that this had carmine, but I wasn't sure where it was. Uh, this is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Um, I got it, I think, from Ulta when it was still at Ulta for like you know, 24 something, which you can still catch it on hot look sometimes, I think. Anyway, uh, this is what it looks like. Of course, like, uh, these two purples and this reddish orange and pink are not eye safe, according to them. It's, according to the FDA, it's not eye safe, but they would be safe in the UK or in Canada. Uh, but the only color I can't use is Urban, the purple one. So, I am really, really happy. I think it's that Urban one. It could be jilted, but I'll, I'll check again. But it's only one shade, and I think it's the purple one that I can't use that has carmine. So, I'm really, really excited that I can actually use that palette. Um, next by Urban Decay, I have the Urban Decay Smoke palette. Um, this is what it looks like. Carmine is hiding in here somewhere. I don't know where. So, I haven't really used this. I think I swatched it. But this is like a muted version of the Naked Smoky. Like you got like a little blue, purple, green, lighter matte. Uh, and then it came with a 24-7 um, pencil. And it zips up so convenient. Uh, next I have the Urban Decay Shadow Box Palette. And I remember getting this for half off two or something like that. Uh, I found out like three of these shades have carmine. I need to write down which ones, but that's it. So I can go back to using this palette. I think it's just in the lighter shades. Uh, next I have Naked Cosmetics Rustic Trio. As far as I can tell, Naked Cosmetics seems to be vegan. Um, so I think this is okay for me to use. And I really need to break it out and use it. Um, got that boxy charm. All right, let's start on these. These are my Makeup Revolution palette. Uh, this is the Flawless 3 palette very pretty case. The reason why I haven't used it is because it does say it contains carmine. However, on their site, it, does, it says vegan. So, I don't know. I need to just risk it all with these palettes one day and I'll, <laughs> I'll find out the truth. My eyes will tell me the truth. Of course, then I'll be halfway blind for a few days. Uh, this is the Chocolate Vice Makeup Revolution palette and I love this palette and I didn't have a problem with this palette, but of course, I might not have been setting my eyes with the lighter shades too. But I love the peaches in this palette. They're very nice. Um, and the shimmers are good too. Oh, here's my other Huda Beauty palette. This is the Electric Obsessions, which I still haven't used, but I can kind of almost dupe it out with another palette. So, <laughs> that's just the, uh, this is another one. This is the Chocolate Love palette that I had got because, uh, you know, I can't really use the pinks in the Chocolate Bon Bon. I kind of wanted to do a comparison video. And then, like, I had that major reaction to the Chocolate Bon Bon palette. But this one says contains carmine on Ulta, on the packaging, but on their website it says it doesn't. And this is Makeup Revolution website. It says it doesn't. So, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't used it. So that thing's still in there. Uh, this is the Naked Love by Makeup Revolution. I was, like, collecting these. I don't know. I was buying them. They kept having to buy one and get one half off sales. Uh, I have not used this one. And can't anybody tell me why I have not used this one? Because it's boring. I hate boring. I don't know why I got it. I think I was just collecting them and saying, hey, these are pretty good. Because I couldn't really afford I, I, At the time, I didn't want to spend the money for one Too Faced palette. Uh, this is the Golden Bar. Not to be confused with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. I don't know if they've duped that one yet. Uh, but you see this crap, though? They did this before 
Too Faced did. I mean, they took Too Faced's little chocolate bar idea, but this whole melted chocolate bar, <laughs> they did it first. <laughs> they did it first. They've had, they've done that since they started pretty much, which has been like three, four years ago now. Um, I did enjoy this one. This one's funner colors. It's not horrible. It's still pretty neutral, but way more popular than the Naked Love palette. Oh, this one looks messy. Must have swat got some swatches on it. This is the Unicorn Love eyeshadow palette. It's got this big jewel and it's fuzzy and glittery. It's awesome. Uh, this one is okay. You really need to build up the pigment on these like a lot. So it's not the greatest palette. But the pink fuzzy amuses me. And I was collecting these at one time. I think their formula has gotten better and they say they've been changing it too. Uh, this is the I Heart Makeup, but if you buy it from Ulta, it's under the Makeup Revolution brand. I mean, the Makeup Revolution is under tanbeauty.com, but they, the I Heart Makeup line's one line, but it's the same as the Makeup Revolution line. And anyway, for the U.S., I just branded it all under Makeup Revolution, but I ordered this from Tan Beauty because it wasn't available here yet. No, I should have waited, but... This one's really pretty. It's like a subculture dupe, kind of, or almost a subculture dupe. Might be close to a subculture dupe. Um, but this one kind of smells like candy. Uh, so it's pretty cool, but it's really good. It's just, you have to build up the pigment just a little bit with a dry brush, at least. Um, you need to build up the pigment just a little bit, but it's not a big deal. Uh, this one is the Death by Chocolate Makeup Revolution palette. I told you I bought all of them. And I don't think I've even used this one because, again, it's very blah. So. Alright, next I have the Tartus Pro To Go palette. It looks like this. Like, two of these shades have carmine in them. I need to remember which ones, but, yeah. And this one does smell like, you know, vanilla cocoa thing. Uh, last but not least, I have this Rose Gold Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette under the Makeup Revolution. I ordered it from Ulta, but if you go to Tan Beauty, I think it's still under the I Heart Makeup thing. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Very, very pretty. This is a dupe for the Huda Beauty Rose Gold. Now, you go to their site. It's the same palette. It's th it says vegan. Ulta, it doesn't have carmine as an ingredient. The package does. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, I'm going to try it out and see if I have a reaction. Um, and go from there. But yeah, I still have the box. So yeah, that that was all the same. But but I just try to get these like cleared away so I can like think and move for a minute or something like that. So, I think and do something. Sorry, I'm trying to like. Just get these like put back in here so I can go about my business. Yeah. Next. Where did that one go? I don't know. I have <laughs> this. I have way more makeup at home. Always will be true. With me. See, this video is already long. Of course, I do talk a little bit. Uh, this has other makeup in it, but this was the best year ever from Too Faced. This one is the Natural Beauty one. Very basic, very very with the bronzer. Very basic. Haven't used that one yet. Tell you how I really feel about it. Uh, this one is Too Faced Super Fun Night. I do love the packaging. This one has, you know, you got the black to glam it up, you know, and some shimmers and a pink, you know, to glam it up a little bit more and your highlights in there. So, where's that one? Where did that one go? Oh, here it is. Um, this is the I Believe in Pink palette. And I did use this at work. Can't remember how it looked at the end of the day, Friday. But this is what I used. I actually used the blush all over my eyes. Like, I did a halo look with one of the shimmers. Um, that worked well. You just had to build up the pigment. It's not horrible. So, I'll continue using it. And hopefully have an updated review on those later. Okay. Next, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is my first and only Morphe purchase. Because I was thinking about ordering the new 9 something palette. The new one that looked neat. But it has Carmine in it. 
Uh, so they've changed their formula somewhat because these didn't contain carmine. Uh oh, I'm just going to dig my nails into that one <laughs> just a little bit. Anyway, I, I actually have this on my eyes because I was doing a really quick look. I have that mostly on my lid and a little bit of that and that one for the darkening of the crease. Uh, so anyway, I love this palette. I don't need a matte white. I don't need a matte cream. So the matte or the satin light colors don't bother me. I just sweep that all over my eyes and I'm cool. Why are you in here? My good pair of eyelash curlers. Okay. Um, next I have the bright lights by pinky rose cosmetics. I did a live and use this one. They're this one's so fun because this is what it looks like. Uh, they have three pressed glitters in here and they are pigmented. And of course, I got my finger hit one. Hit that green a little bit. Uh, so I love it. This palette is stunning. Stunning. All right. Uh, next, I have the Laura Pro 2. I can't find my fake, so I might have threw that away. Because uh, I was planning on doing a look comparing the two, but... This is the second one. I think I swatched it and that's all I've done because there's carmine hiding in quite a few shades. But I don't want to get rid of it because it's one of those really good if I do my niece's makeup to use on them. Uh, this is the Center Stage palette by Pinky Rose. I love this one. I've gotten, I use this one like November, December. I use this palette a bit. Really pretty warm tone with that pop of yellow. And then you also got some purples. And you got two pressed glitters. This pinky gold one and that gold one. So, love it. Their formula is awesome. And they are like completely cruelty free. And they don't use carmine. So, uh, and this is my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar palette. Love this palette. So good. So good. And the only two shades I can't use which is this one and the pink one. So, like, I don't have a set in shades. So I just bring in another palette. Um, oh, it smells so good. And they are so awesome. Love that palette. Uh, next one I've got is the Chartist Pro. Pro. I bought this. Uh, this is one of my first big palette purchases because everybody was raving about it. Besides Pink Laura, one of my, my like, high-end palettes because everybody was raving about it. It was like in everybody's yearly favorites in 2016. Like all the ones I watched. So I bought it and it looks like I barely used it, but I used it quite a bit. <laughs> Granted, I don't know what colors I was using, but it's like supposedly you go in rows. I never went in rows. I tried that once. I was like, I'm bored now. Uh, so I hop around all in this palette and just use what I want. Uh, I think... This one or this one has carmine in it of these shimmers and a couple of these mattes. I think a couple of these lighter colors. So it could have been that whole like I wasn't setting my entire lid with a matte color. So which I didn't at first. Kind of thing. That's why I didn't have a reaction. Okay. Uh, this stays in my purse. Uh, this is the Tarte Dream Big Palette. And it stays in my purse because it has a really good setting shade. Like for me at least. I mean it's not white. But it sets everything that I can use. Um, and I can use every color. But this pretty little wine one. And this pretty shimmer. I can't use those. I just have carmine. So if I ever need like a simple crease color. Or, you know darker. Or you know something. These don't show up that great. But yeah. It's okay, and it does smell really good, so kind of lives in my purse. Next, I have Lorac Unzipped, which I haven't touched because it has carmine in it somewhere. Might be in all the shades. Not sure, but I'm keeping it because this one isn't at, like, I gave away my modern renaissance because I couldn't see myself using it for the girl's prom makeup or a photo really I mean because it's bold I mean it's in your face um there's not much subtlety to that palette I guess um but this one is more I mean you have like kind of that tone but it's more subtle so I can use that for the girls in your makeup and stuff and they be okay uh this is the Lorac Unzipped Gold they have fun with this uh you can have a few different looks not many, but <laughs> this one doesn't have carmine in it. And I just got in that chocolate shade. I'm a mess looking at palettes. This one is the It Natural Pretty palette. Oh, all three of these I got in 
Ulta's last year's spring 21 Days of Beauty. They actually had palettes for half off, so I hauled them then. Um, I really like this palette. It has good mattes. Very simple. Very neutral. Well, a little pop here and there. And that Transformer shade, which really doesn't do anything. I usually just hit my brow bone with it. But it has good mattes in here. Good formula. Uh, really nice. And no carmine. So, really nice. Just, it, it fits that naturally pretty thing they were going for. Next, which has gotten fuzzy. <laughs> is my Anastasia Prism palette, which I do love. I should buy a backup because I have a feeling like these pressed ones are just going to go quicker. <laughs> but I love this palette. The only color I can't use is that navy blue and Osiris. So, yeah, love that palette. Okay, I'm going to show you a few more single-like things if I can. Um, yeah, okay. These are five glitter things. I want to compare them kind of to the Stila ones. Um, pure glitter things like that one's Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> it's like a goldish one. A rose gold. Uh, this one is Lush. It's like reddish one. This one is Midnight Diamond. I mean the print is like uber small. Can you read that print? Anyway, it's black with silver glitter. This one's gold and this one is in the color Queenie. That's how it settles for some reason. <laughs> and then this one is mm, OMG. It's like a bronze glitter. All those are from Pure. So Carmine Free. This one I recently got. Laura Mercier All Natural Caviar Stick for your eye. That's matte. Um, it's a creamy matte looking. Um, I just haven't looked if it's free of Carmine or not. So That's the concern. Uh, I have a couple loose pigments from Naked Cosmetics from Ipsy and the Last Forever. Uh, this one's Mother Nature and it's like a duochrome color. Uh, this one is Desert Sunset, and it's really pretty, like, rose goldy pink kind of thing going on. Uh, another single I have is from Zahi Cosmetics, and this is a cream metallic foil eyeshadow in Shimla. Very pretty, very pigmented. This one's kind of drying up, but it's the color tattoo in creamy beige that I got because like it says it's like kind of matte painterly pot like when I was first getting into makeup but I have never used this as a base <laughs> that's just me same with this uh elf smudge pot in bronze really pretty I don't know if I've ever really even used it um next I hadn't used this one because I recently got it like last month's Ipsy not January I think December it's a city color uh shimmer shadow and ladylike it is free of carmine it's really pretty, actually, so I really need to use it. Uh, next, I have this Luna by Luna eyeshadow in Jace. I really need to pop it out and put it in the Z palette. Um, it's okay. It's not the best. Kind of, it's kind of like powdery. But it blends. It's fine. Not the most pigmented thing, so it doesn't show up the best on my eyes. That are zombie. This is a color pop super shock in waddles. I have a few of these, I could only find two. Um, these are Hakari eggplant, so this is a purple, and this is DSL illusion. I have five of these Hakari ones, I think this is the only one I found. They're somewhere, they're somewhere. I just don't know where. I have a tendency to move things around. I have two of these. Butter London Glazing Eye Glosses. These are the jelly ones that you have to keep like the lid thingy in and keep them shut. They dry out quickly. I think this was just rose gold. No, this is frosted, but it kind of looks like a pinky shimmer rose. They're very pretty. This one's oil slick. They are gorgeous on the eyes, though. Gorgeous. Um, I have three of these. I thought I found another one. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I did find another one from the Wet n Wild 
Midnight Mermaid collection, these don't stay on the eye very well. I mean, for a quick photo, they, they're fine, but they don't stay well at all. But they are gorgeous to look at. <laughs> I don't know. They're, they're just gorgeous to look at. Okay, next I have the Glam Metals palette from Crown Pro that we got in BoxyCharm. Very pretty colors. Oh, a couple of these shades do not last. The blues kind of do. You need to build these up too. Um, and the lighter ones don't really like these. It's not the longest lasting palette, even with a primer. So it's just okay for me. Oh, here, moving on. I have the Naked 3 by Urban Decay. Uh, it does say contain carmine. I've learned that it's the lighter shades in Urban Decay that usually contain carmine. If it's not throughout the entire palette, it's going to be like the lighter shades. Uh, but I did use this one a bit, like a few of the shimmers. Uh, this is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. It's my original one. Um, and again, it's probably like in these lighter mattes more than anything else. But I love this palette. So no matter what anybody else says about the Naked Smoky, I like it. Uh, this is the Urban Decay Naked palette. I don't think I've personally used this palette because I had the... Uh, Hold on, it's coming. I have the Deep for it, which I love. That's free of Carmine. This one says it contains Carmine probably in the lighter colors. I've used a, this a little bit on my knees, so there's that. Okay. Next, I have the Real Her Be Your Own Kind of Beauty Volume 1 palette. Looks like this. It's it's fine. It's just kind of basic. Which, yeah, basic. <laughs> I'm not basic. I like color. Uh, this is the Hashtag Slay by Makeup Revolution palette. Um, and it does say, like, no, this one doesn't say it contain carmine. Am I reading that right? No. I thought it did, but that's why I don't have a reaction. This one, this one on the thing says not, and I think on their website it says not. It's just an itty bitty palette, but it's so good. I used this so much for like almost an entire month one time because I loved it so much. And it looks like I barely touched it, but it's just so good. Very peachy. I like that in the springtime. Uh, next, I have my Lorac 1 and Lorac Pro Volume 1. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And I did like this one. It does have Carmine hiding. Um, but I went ham on these shimmers especially. And I didn't have a reaction. I don't know. Again, I was at the beginning of my health allergies. So. Allergies can get worse with time. Next, I have this stupid... I don't know why I have this. I need to give it to my niece to play with. Because it's ridiculous how small it is. Like, this is from Sleep Makeup, y'all. This is like in a Christmas gift set. That is smaller than a dime. I don't know. It was like in a set with only one other thing. And it was like $15. I'm like, who wants to pay $15 and get this? Not me. I, I mean, I got the set for $7.50. But, you know. It came with like a mini matte lipstick or something like that. No. <laughs> and here's the palette I can never use. But I love, and I love the Pirates of the Caribbean, and I'm keeping, I can still use the cheek palette. Uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean Lorac palette. Like, I went through, because they finally posted, like, what shades had Carmine in them one day. And so I was just marking with marker beside them. It made me so sad. It's gorgeous, y'all. It's gorgeous. Uh... And so, like, I marked all the shades, and all but the black have Carmine in them. I did use it a few times because I wasn't sure. I was thinking the blue. Surely not the blue or the green would have carmine or even the copper. Or, no. or the duochrome. Because a lot of times duochrome, that duochrome does it. Or sometimes half time does it. Nope, all of them do. That's why I had a reaction for the three, four times I used it. I was like, ah. <laughs> I actually used this palette and went into the drive-in and saw the movie. So, <laughs> But I'm keeping it because I can still use it for my nieces or my niece. Like... One of my nieces looks really good with a smoky eye. She's got dark hair and like the longest, darkest lashes and big, thick brows. And like, but not over, overly grown brows, even though she doesn't pluck them. She'll let me pluck them a little bit one time, but, um, yeah. Next, we have some PH Cosmetics. This is the Pride and Prejudice 
plus zombies palette eye and cheek palette and I got the I have BH cosmetics flick first they were one of my first hauls um and I don't know what's like with this blush like what's all in it I'm just gonna scrape that off and see if it comes off I don't know it's been a while since I used that I don't know what got in there I don't know if an eyeshadow did it's like white the pigment showing through that look kind of gross though just knocked it up okay this is what I went ham on this and I remember loving this palette but it's been so long it's like over a year old now I don't know um how I feel about it I still haven't seen this movie apparently I need to because everybody said it was really good but like I have such an attachment to the original book I'm like ooh, and zombies to it I'm like that's one of my top books but it says, I shall never relinquish my sword for a ring by Elizabeth Bennet. Not a book quote. <laughs> but I love the packaging. It was just kind of like awesome. Uh, and I love this palette when I got it. Have I used it much after a while? No. <laughs> this is the BH Cosmetics Bronze Paradise palette. It's very shiny. Very pretty. I haven't really used this. I used like a bit of it once. And like that was it. I mean... That blue's really pretty though. Um, nah. <laughs> I'll just keep wiping on my hand. So there's that. I also have BH Max. What? BH Max. What am I saying? BH Cosmetics Wild and Alluring Palette. This is that baked eyeshadow and highlighter palette. I don't see he says highlighter. You never know, but no. <laughs> um, I have played around every now and then with this. I think when I did my, some of my festival looks last year which weren't great videos, but <laughs> I used these. So, there's that. This is the BH Cosmetics Silver Strike Palette. I barely ever touched this palette. Uh, I gave the gold one away because I just never used that one at all. And that's the Highlight and Contour Palette. Alright. These are a couple beauty treats that I got from I Kate House. Like, that was like my second big haul after BH or before BH. I don't know. But like Sabrina said that this was a close dupe for the Visart. Like this side was. Like she had got the smaller side. And I was like oh it comes with all these colors. I touched this a couple times. It says it contains carmine. So I'm super wary of that. Uh, and it, I bought it with a set with all these glitters. This is mostly overspread glitter. They're not that great. So. But I can see like a cheerleader using them. I don't know why I keep them for uh, non-pretty looks, I guess. Uh, this is the Ulta Beauty. I probably need to get rid of this because it says they contains Carmine. But it's so pretty. I've never used it on my eyes, though, but it's so pretty. <laughs> Came with, like, the jewelry box last year. Uh, this is the Coastal Sense Revealed Palette. have not touched this thing. <laughs> it's like a dupe and more for the Urban Decay 1. And I was going to do, like, a whole thing. Never have. Uh, this is the Reveal 2 from Coastal Scent. Still have not used this one. I think I've mostly swatched this one, but it's so pretty and I really need to. Alright. Are you ready for some more Makeup Revolution? Alright. This is the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro 1. Or 3. Iconic Pro 3. This is the dupe for the Naked 3. And it dupes it well. No Carmine in this palette. You have to watch your brush because the the pans are kind of narrow and it's a little more buildable but not so bad and the mattes are really good actually but it's a dupe for the naked three and I, I loved this thing when I got it I just have so many eyeshadow palettes I can't go back okay this is the makeup revolution slack packaging um this is the neutrals versus neutrals palette I love this palette so pretty Like Sabrina loves this palette too. And I think Emily Noel might love this palette. This is the Iconic Pro 2. Or just... No, not Iconic. Well, no, it's, I thought it was under... Yeah, it's Iconic too. But it's, they're under Redemption Eyeshadow Palette. Make it Prevolution. This is a dupe for the Naked 2, which I do not have. I don't think I... I barely use this one. I think I've mostly swatched it. Um, It's just kind of boring. That's why I haven't bought the Naked 2 one. That and the Carmine. Uh, next, I have, this one's actually really good. This is the Essential Mattes. And I remember thinking, man, these mattes are nice. I had no high hopes. I didn't think they'd be that pigmented just looking at it. 
but no, they're really good. They're really good. You just gotta be careful what brush you use to make sure, like, a lot of my brushes had to go sideways once with, um, because the pants are kind of narrow. But they're really good mattes. Like, really good. If you need a matte palette, essential mattes. These are $7 on Ulta, by the way. They haven't had a sale lately, but they usually go buy one and get one out half off. Uh, this is Redemption Eyeshadow Palette Romantic Smoked. I had not used this one. Because I bought it, I think, first from my mom. And I was like, and then my aunt stole it from her. But, and I was like, oh, I want it. So I think I bought one for me and my mom. And online, it doesn't look that great, but in person, it looks pretty. Uh, this one I still haven't used because, again, online and stuff, it says it contains Carmine. Okay, on the back, it doesn't say it. I don't know. <laughs> and I don't, I don't think on the website it says it doesn't contain it. Uh, but I think on Ulta, it says it doesn't. I don't know. Y'all, I don't know. Uh, but this is the dupe for the Kat Von D palette. You know, the one she went and had a cow about. Uh, it's just slightly smaller. The bottom pans are slightly smaller. But it's supposed to be really good. A lot of people did a video about this. Like, comparing it to it. So, I mean, those are really bad swatches. But, yeah, I'm pretty good. Alright, this is the Redemption Palette Iconic Elements Palette. It is mostly matte. You got like one satin, one kind of shimmer. Uh, and the rest are matte. So I just hadn't really dug into that because, you know, boring. I think I have the mattes because I have a palette that's like mostly shimmer. So I was like using it with it. Um, this is the Unicorn. Or, Unicorns are real palette. <laughs> this one's pretty good. It's like all shimmer though. Uh, so I think it's when I first used that. Mm. Mm. It's like hard to even like swatch because your like fingers get in. But it's decent like that. It's really pretty. It's just like some of these you have to build up a bit. But they're seven bucks. So. Um this one says contains cotton. <laughs> I don't you go on their website, nothing does really, except for some of their blushes. Alright, this is the Unicorns Unite palette. Um, it looks like that. I, don't, I remember this one wasn't the greatest palette. This one is like one of the weakest palette. One of the weaker ones. But it's okay. It's just a little weaker. Um, or I might have got this later after I experimented with better palettes. Or like ones that are really pigmented from the get-go. And then I got this and I wasn't as impressed. Okay. This is it. Besides like two fakes that I really need to get rid of. Because I haven't touched them in a year. And now like I've watched. Have y'all watched Pop Looks' video? Um, like, and he's the one who started this whole, like, real versus fake thing. Or kind of did. Um, like, ee, maybe not. Okay, um, this is the Redemption Eyeshadow Palette Iconic 1 by Makeup Revolution. Uh, and this is the dupe for the Naked one. And I actually really like this when I first got it. I mean, I went in hard on some of these shades. You can't really tell, but I did. Um... So I really like this actually. <laughs> the woman who never picks up the naked one. But I did like this palette. These are some of my you know, first ones. Uh, that would fit my purse and I could grab and go. You know. So yeah. that that That's it. Besides what I can't find. Because I have like four more of those Sakari pencils. And like one or two more of those wet and wild glitter things. So yeah. Uh, that That's my eyeshadow palette collection. How long did this take? 48 minutes. Yeah, about as long as my other one did. It was just some more sliding because I was trying to do it in my room. It didn't work. Uh, so, yeah, that's my eyeshadow palette collection. Y'all asked for it. That's it. And I've got two little eyeshadow palettes on their way, y'all. So, and their makeup revolution. They're newer ones. I was like, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, please, because this video took a long time. And it's going to take me a minute to pick it up. So, yeah. Thanks, y'all. Uh, I have a problem. If anybody kept count, let me know. Thank you for watching, though. Bye.